All right. Bing. There we go. We're live. And this is my name is Thomas, and this is the Agile Ventures Pacific Rim Scrum. It's uh, um, uh, middle of the night here in Sweden. Uh, I stayed awake for you guys. I hope you enjoy enjoy this this session. Thanks. Uh, I would like to I would like to welcome everybody to this to yes. this scrum. For most of you guys, this is the first time uh, you are participating in a scrum event uh, for uh, from Agile Ventures. So welcome everybody. Uh, I'd like to start uh, with. This. Thank you, Rose, for pulling in so many people into our community, and uh, I hope that you guys uh, will enjoy working with us on the source project that we are, we are hosting in uh, within Agile Ventures. And uh, we've seen quite a few uh, uh, requests for, for uh, joining the uh, Pivotal Tracker from you guys, and I try to accommodate as many of you as possible. If anybody still have uh, uh, not not have gained access to that uh, pivotal tracker instance, just uh, use the chat uh, uh, in this in the in this hangout to give me your address, email address, and I I'll set you up as we speak uh, during this meeting, so you can start working on on those features. Uh, do you guys know the format of a Scrum? Are you acquainted with that? Okay. So basically, we we answer three questions uh, on on each scrum. We, we we give a short report on what we've done uh, for the last 24 hours or what what have you. You know, since since the last the last scrum, this is your first. So uh, anyway, but what have I been working on? What are my plans? And if there's anything stopping me uh, from exec executing my my, my plan and Things that could potentially stop me are uh, stuff that I am reliant on from other developers in my team that they need to finish before I can start working on my uh, own story of if I'm facing some technical issues or what have you. Anything that blocks you from from fulfilling uh, your, or executing your 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 plan uh, needs to be reported and shared with the group. So uh, uh, let's start with with uh, long term long. Time uh, Agile Ventures member Michael, if uh, you could go first, perhaps, and uh, and uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what you've been up to and what your plans. Are. All right, I today I program some with Davids and some on my own on local support, and we're getting an upgrade in place for our GMAPS gem to go to version two. It's a lot of refactoring tests. Um, John had worked on that kind of on his own on Sunday, and he didn't make the tests as tight as we would like them or t as testing as much as the uh, other tests were. So I had worked yesterday with Marion and today with David on tightening up the tests so that they actually assert it. Uh, the things that they used to assert. Are these the tests that we spoke about uh, in the previous Scrum uh, that has to do with the, the zooming? Uh, That's the one test that I'm still blocked on, um, although John had mentioned that we could refactor the JavaScript uh, to make it more modular. Okay. I'm not sure whether that's going to work, but... Oh, but that's a potential path to go down and explore at least. Yeah. So, and Marion and I are planning on pairing at seven tonight. So. Okay. Uh, and in 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 one UTC terms, that's in a few hours or. What? What what when is that in UTC? Is that? It's in about two hours. Okay, so one uh, uh, midnight UTC. Okay, then I'll hopefully be asleep. Anyway, <laughs> I see. I see that you guys have uh, quite a few outstanding pull requests on local support. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, upgrading going on and paying down technical debt. Like uh, local support started really started in February 2013, and at the time it was on Rails 3.1. Then we pushed up to Rails 3.2. We recently pushed it up to Rails 4, 
and now we're trying to go to Rails 401, but there were some blocking issues. Like um, I had put in place a hack so that GMAPs for Rails version 1 didn't interfere with our Jasmine specs for some reason. It's incompatible with Jasmine 2. So we had a hack in there, and we realized when we upgrade to Rails 4, the hack still worked, but then when we upgraded to 4.1, the hack just kind of froze the command line. Mm -hmm. So obviously that wasn't going to work for us, so we decided we had to upgrade GMAP for Rails to version 2, which is compatible with Jasmine 2. Okay. And that's what we've been working on. So all these kind of pull requests are starting to build up, and we have to pull in those upstream changes that right. are going to go in for DreamMaps for Rails. And I, I assume also that when you pull some of these pull requests in, once you get the stuff to work, I see that there are at least a few that were where the tests are, are broken. Failing. Yeah, they were broken because basically I believe most of them were broken because of the Rake Jasmine issue. Mm. And just to explain to, to our viewers, uh, uh, if you have a look at this particular pull request, there are uh, clearly a collaboration between Michael here and another longtime Idle Ventures member, Marion, that has been uh, coding away, and I see John has been uh, also contributing to this. And we use Travis Continuous Integration, a tool that, that runs all the uh, all our tests and gives us feedback if, if everything is, is uh, working. So GitHub tells us whether this there are any merging conflicts uh, on a pull request, so it gives us a green light whether we can and merge Travis, anything or not, and then Travis tells us about the, the test. Travis and, actually um, is a sanity check because it's a third-party server, mm -hmm. and the entire project is built all the way up from rake db create, rake db migrate, gem install, and everything else, mm -hmm. just in case... Uh, so if we just in case something's passing on someone's machine because of some dependency, exactly that uh, is unique to their machine. So it's a third-party tool that makes everyone on the same footing, I guess. Yeah. So that that exposes any 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 errors or you know, any dependencies that are not in the in the present on 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 the, on the external server. And if we click on details here. We are taken to the Travis interface, and we uh, we can see once this loads. Sometimes it's slow to load. So Travis CI provides a service for free to all open source projects. If you had a closed source project, you would have to pay for a service from Travis or similar competitors. And so we can here we can see uh, the entire output from Travis, uh, which is quite big in this case. This is a large project with uh, many tests. And, but if we scroll down to the bottom, we see that there is a, there seems to be a Jasmine test that fails. Uh, yeah, that's related to yeah. that. Yeah, that's related to what you're talking about. All right. Uh, well, thank you for that, that report. And uh, for you guys that could be potentially interested in the local support uh, project, uh, you can find the documentation and some info about this this project on our website. This is one of our oldest projects, one that we actually build Agile Ventures community for around, kind of. So, and uh, Michael, you've been working on this for what is it? Uh, over a year now, a year and a half almost, right? I think I first contributed March 2013, and the project was basically just a Rails scaffold at that point. Hmm. So it's it's a very mature, very very mature code base. It's it's very large, and as as Michael was was telling us, is they they are making a mi migration to to uh, uh, to Rails for dot It's not that. I mean, it's not that large. It's not like it's only five or six models, I think. It's not really that large. It's not like a what you would see inside of a company, a startup that's been running four or five years. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, let's go over to 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 Rose. Perhaps you could, uh, you know, answer sure. those three, three, three holy Absolutely. Questions. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so, uh, 
Well, I, you may remember from the meeting yesterday that I was trying to rebuild my virtual machine, which got sort of trashed, so it got rebuilt, and uh, I reworked uh, particular homework that uh, the students uh, were just uh, working on and completing this week, uh, and then there's another part that they're going to be working on next week. Uh, so I did that, and... Uh, uh, I met with you uh, and Sam this morning, and uh, then we had our uh, beat assessors uh, meeting for the auto graders. Uh, so uh, we discussed several things and decided that uh, we were going to investigate one of the, uh, uh, you know, the the, the Berkeley course uh, uh, homeworks uh, more thoroughly uh, in a pedagogical sense next week. Um, and last night I, uh, I sent out all the um, invitations to the students to sign up for tasks and make sure that they had access to Pivotal Tracker. Uh, and uh, uh, later today I'll be probably working with some students on some problems with their uh, uh, latest homework uh, and uh, ha kind of overseeing some of the uh, task uh, uh, activity. Uh, not really any blockages at this point. All right. Thank you. Uh, could Alex go next? Sure. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, because uh, he's uh, been interested in local support, so I thought maybe right. that would be, you know. Absolutely. And I assume that you have a um, uh, a profile on our uh, on Agile Ventures already. Alex? Yeah, I should have a profile. And that would be, if you look at my screen, is that Alex Valera? Is that you? Yeah, it's probably me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, cool. Uh, so um, um, I recently got the code base working. I pretty much had to, uh, I ran into a little bit of roadblock where um, when I tried to see the data, when I did like the rake db create, there was a problem with, uh, with SQL, but um, there was instructions on how to fix that, so I, I quickly fixed it. You just had to edit some, uh, like a conf file or something like that. And um, You're on Ubuntu, right? Yeah. Were you on, yeah. on a VM? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was. Um, so yeah, uh, I just started actually uh, running it locally, and um, I was like digging around in some like the some of the code, looking at some of the views, just kind of getting a feel how things are working. And um, I did see that one uh, that one task that was recommended to me uh, it was the donation the no the donation thing something yeah. <laughs> And uh, I was looking at other ones too, some some easy ones that just weren't uh, tackled yet. I'm guessing because the ice box is is pretty huge right now. I guess like some easier task for miss. I think there was one that was like a uh, the cookies disclaimer was uh, a little bit of a nuisance, and then uh, I guess somebody wanted to make it a little more uh, less intrusive. So I don't know. Maybe I can take a stab at that too. Um, and um, I guess no more roadblocks after after I fix the SQL thing. <laughs> so I guess I'm. Uh, I guess I should just get a uh, pretty much just get started. So get started coding that is. Yeah. Cool. Do you plan to pair program with somebody in your in your class or? Um, I, th I think I'm the only one doing local support in this class. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I guess maybe not in this class. Uh, so far, so far. But uh, yeah, uh, I do plan on pair programming though, but just not with anyone in this class. <laughs> All right. Uh, there seems, uh, again, there seems to be a, a pair programming session with Michael later on today, so uh, oh, great. if you might uh, just have a, you're a member on Slack, so uh, you should mm -hmm. you should be able to see. Okay. Go next. Sorry. I didn't well, you can not speak to you. Um, I could do it. My name is Ridwan. Um, working on website one. So for the past 24 hours, all I've done was basically gain access to the website one project and selected a chore to work on, and also got access to the Pivotal Tracker. 
um, a roadblock are some errors that I'm getting while trying to set up the project environment on my virtual machine. Um, so I can't, I haven't really been able to look at the code for the website one project at all. Oh. And yeah. What 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 sort of errors are you getting? Um, it says this is the error that is showing up right now. It says that there is no checksum for HTTP cache dot ruby lang org pub ruby. Um. I guess it's um, something along the lines of the Ruby version. That's a Ruby version problem, yes. Yeah. Just check the gem file, and, and are you using RVM? Yeah. Yeah. And make sure that you're using the right right uh, uh, version of Ruby. OK. Uh, I will start with that. And uh, I, won't, I won't be hosting any per programming sessions tonight, because I want to go to bed. But uh, if you can catch up, catch up with me tomorrow, at some more decent time, uh, for me at least, uh, I can help you out with this. Uh, That'd be cool. All right, great. Thank you. Cool. And I guess this is your 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 profile that I'm showing on on, on my page on my screen right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's me. All right, cool, great. And I see that you wrote a little bit, a little something about yourself. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, who sh who wants to go next? Uh, I'll go next. OK. Uh, my name is Aaron Smith. Uh, basically, since the last time I just um, task, got everything set up with Pivotal Tracker, started working on my profile, and I started setting up the code base, but I uh, ran into some issues similar to one had. Um, and I started looking through the code on Git. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, basically the issue I had, I was looking at um, in the directions, it, when you're running the setup um, script, it, it specifies to use Ruby version 2.1.11, which uh, doesn't appear to be a Ruby version. I think the most current one's 2.1.5, so that's what the error is when you try to use RVM install on it. Mm -hmm. Um, so that I actually I'm aware of that, and uh, I'm so sorry for not updating that script. It's the back stays with me on this one. Um, sorry about it. It's uh, it's an error of of one of our developers that that wrote that script, but somebody else actually pointed it out a while back, and we should have uh, updated it. Uh, and we kind of that kind of fell between chairs, and uh, nobody did that. So I'm sorry, but yes, good catch. Okay. Yeah. So I think that. Um... So when I, I worked around that, and then I was just getting some problems setting up the C SQL database, but uh, I should be able to figure that out and get it working. Right. Do you do you have any problems with this Postgres user or something like that, or? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, with the the Postgres user, um, it's saying how um, something about the permission, I believe. But I yeah. looked up ways to remedy it, and uh, I couldn't find it out still. So I was just thinking maybe the setup script. Would uh, fix it once well, I have that. No, actually, the, we, we have that error documented in our Viki. Uh, I'm just going to point you to the right place here. So if you go to our Viki page on GitHub and you go to this development uh, development environment setup, there should be yes. Here you go. So what you do, you just run this command, and that usually takes care of that business for you. Okay. Yep. So that should do it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So you can do it either from the the PSQL prompt or directly from from uh, from your command line, so you can choose okay. what sort of command you want. Okay, cool. So that's one impediment less. Uh, yep. Making progress. All right. Cool. And your plans in terms of, of pair programming? I'm gonna look for I guess for someone else in the class to work with who wants to work on a task together, or I will. Uh, Try to find someone else. I get your Slack when I'm available to work on a feature or a task. Cool. Great. Uh, have you taken ownership of any of the, the chores uh, about uh, the refactoring of, of specs that we set up in Pivotal Tracker last night? Uh, yeah, I took. Um, I, I don't remember exactly which one, but it's just a, a very short one. Um, I just want to start off with that, and then I was looking at there was the uh, authentication control. Um, that I might work on next once I uh, am set up and have been used to this. We also have a, a, a rather big icebox, so there's a lot of unestimated stories there, but uh, 
in our backlog there are plenty of chores and plenty of stories to 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 choose from uh, if you want something more complex to work with. Cool. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, who's next? Um, I'm next. Um, my name is William Helska, and I'm on the uh, also on the website One Project with uh, Ridwan and Ryan and a bunch of other people. Um, since last time, I just got access to the Pivotal Tracker and the uh, the different project uh, um, resources. And um, I haven't had a chance to pick a chore yet, but I'm going to do that uh, today. Um, I don't see a profile for you on, on website one, oh, on the Agile Ventures page. Oh, I, that's, I don't think I made a profile, but I have an account, so I guess I still have to create a profile. OK. Uh, what, what username did you pick? Uh, w Hilska one H-I-L. Oh, there you go. OK. All right. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, that's me. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, because if you don't, if you, know, if you just sign up with your email, I guess this is the default name you get, but you can add your first and last name. Okay, yeah, I'll, I, I can do that tonight. Just add in a little bit of information. Cool. Uh, okay, so uh, you were, I, I just interrupted you. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so you, you, you started at uh, one of the chores, right? You were saying... Oh, I haven't... I, I just looked at the, the Pivotal Tracker and all and the icebox. I haven't actually picked anything to do yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. And there, there are some... Uh, the thing that we talked about last night, I don't know, Rose, if you uh, talked to, you know, told your students, this, the, the, the chores that are on top of the of the backlog are some refactoring chores for, for some specs that we need to to uh, to write. Uh, they are files with very low test coverage down to 30% or 40%, something like that. So uh, if, if you don't find anything else, you, you just want to, to do, you know, Writing some some uh, RSpec uh, uh, tests, uh, you can choose any of these uh, these stories. And also for you guys, I know uh, I would like to address everybody. I know that some of you guys uh, have have uh, set yourself as owners of this. And uh, whenever you start to actually work on it, pr do press uh, the start button, uh, so it's out. Then it's automatically moved to the current uh, uh, in 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 Pivotal Tracker. So. Uh, so we know that this is actually uh, a work in progress. OK? Cool. Mm -hmm. So uh, any, any plans for uh, pair programming? Do you want to uh, do something? Yeah, um, I guess I could probably, uh, with all the different, like there's a bunch of different people in this class uh, working on this project, so I could definitely find somebody, and maybe we can uh, pick a chore that we both um, could work out at the same time. And uh, one that we both we both would like to do, and uh, yeah, I guess that that would be the plan moving forward. <coughs> Wonderful. Uh, any impediments? Have you have you got the code to work locally for you yet, or something? Um, I saw in the email there was something about when you go to Git and you try to run setup. Something in the email said don't don't bother that there was like a problem with it, and then a bunch of a bunch of kids from the class were saying that there were problems. So um, now that I've been able to hear about other kids' problems and how they solve them, uh, I'm definitely going to go and get it running. So I'll have some knowledge of the problems before I okay. even encounter them. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I, actually, I just want to address that as a qu rather quickly. I know that there is this uh, setup script, but for, uh, I understand that you guys have uh, have worked with with Rails. During the semester, and so this is you are not new to Rails, right? And you have your virtual machines or your your laptops or PCs or whatever you work on uh, set up with with the, with the environment uh, development environment already, or am I mistaken? Yeah, we all we all have virtual box. Uh, yeah. So so I would say that <clears throat> see I never use that setup script. Uh, uh, even now, I, I just recently bought a new a new laptop and. And what I did is I just I have my own fork of this of this project on GitHub, which is always the first step to do to fork the project. And then I just clone it down to my machine. I run bundle install, and 
uh, I'm facing, usually I'm facing some issues with Capybara WebKit, and the Postgres issue always shows up, but there are workarounds for that. We have that well documented in the wiki, so that shouldn't be a problem. And then I just do a, a bundle exec rake db create, and that both creates setups and Oh, I do bundle exec rake db setup that creates, migrates, and seeds the database for me, and then I'm up and running if I if I just fire up the server. So if you have previous, you know, developer development environment set up, I don't think you need to to run this script. This is a pretty straightforward installation, uh, just to to clone it down, run bundle, and and, and go for it. So. I wouldn't even bother bother with that setup script if, if you guys run into some problems because okay. it's it's not necessary. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, that would be all from you, William. Thank you very much. Uh, who else can I have a go? Uh, hi, um, I'm Mark Sapniewski. I'm also part of the uh, web website web development team. Um, I was also having the part uh, running the script to set up, but now that you showed us that you could just fork it, I'll probably just do that. Um, also, I was I was checking out the uh, edge um, pivotal tracker for tasks. I just got access to it, so still need to read through it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and any plans on, on uh, programming? Um, yeah, I guess either uh, me or one of the other people working on it will choose one of the tasks after we uh, read through them. Cool. And if, if you're not set up with the project yet, do pair program with somebody doing the setup. It's it's also a good learning experience to, to you know to uh, two set of sets of eyes always. Are, Helps uh, even in a, in a setup process. Mm -hmm. We we'll just grab somebody and, and do that together. Cool. All right. Thank you for for that. Uh, great to have you with us. Uh, who's who's next? Right, I'll, I'll go next. Mark. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's your username on uh, Agile Ventures? Okay, somebody muted you, or you muted yourself? Oh, sorry, it's uh, M-S-T-E-P-N-I. All right, here you go. Go ahead. All right, yeah, I just have to... Uh, uh, All right, I just saw when uh, Omer's going next. Once again. Hi, um, my name is... Uh, okay, whoever spoke just muted himself again, so... Hello? Yeah. Okay, who tries to speak with me right now? All right, this is Omar Hashmi. Okay. Uh, since last class, I got my access to Pivotal Tracker, and I'm going to try to uh, pick one of the chores tonight and work on it. And so far, no roadblocks. Okay, cool. That was a fast report. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go with the, with the, the next person then. Uh, Mark, are you set up now? Uh, hey, uh, my name is Mark Fishkin. Uh, I'm working on the website one project. Uh, I'm actually doing pair programming with Ridwan, the first person to speak. So since uh, last time, I've gotten access to the Pivotal Tracker, and I've uh, picked a, a story to work on. Uh, the roadblock is the same that one that Ridwan had. We couldn't establish the uh, script to work yet, but now we know how to work around it. And that's about it. All right. Cool. Great. It's a good thing that you guys are already picking somebody to, to uh, pair program with. Do try to rotate that. It's always good to, to shift uh, uh, pair programming partners. Uh, trust me, you learn more by doing that. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, who's next? 
Who hasn't presented themselves yet? Um, I'm next. Um, okay. My name is Anne Quat. Once again? Um, uh, my name is Anne Quat. Okay. A and H. All right. Yeah. Um, so I got access to a Pivotal Tracker, and I um, uh, I chose a chore um, and to work with uh, Yui. She's sitting next to me. Um, we're pair programming um, on that, um, and I'm trying to uh, set up the project on uh, my virtual machine. Um, but I got the same problem with uh, the same problem with other students. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, try to try to just you know just to clone clone the project as I said before, and 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 run about it and and face the the issues. As they show up, and they, they might be, there are some pitfalls on the way, but but uh, it's it's actually, I believe, a little faster way than than, yeah. than trying to get the script to work. Uh, okay. If any of I... you guys would feel like to rewrite the script, uh, go ahead, and we, we just make a pull request out of that, and we 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 will be very glad for that. But it's not a priority for us right now. Okay, so I actually fork uh, the project and clone it into uh, the mach my machine, um, and and then I try to run the setup script. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, but uh, if if you have uh, if you have that already on your machine, just try not running the, the setup script, but just doing bundle install. Okay. And see if that uh, brings you any closer. Uh, Oh yeah, actually, I I tried to run the bundle install and I got um, an error. I don't usually get a web capybara web. It says yeah. it says when I when I try to run the bundle install, it says your Ruby version is one one point nine point three, but your gem file specify one point one point one. Do you have RVM? RVM. Yeah. Ruby version manager. If you type R, if you type which Ruby on the command line, what do you get? I got uh, Ruby one point nine point three. Which Ruby? But what's the path? Um, the path uh, home slash sasbook slash dot rvm. Yeah. Okay. So that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Then do RVM install two point. What what are they on, Thomas? Uh, two point one. Two point one point one, I think. Then do RVM install two point one point one. Two point one point one. Yeah, two point one point one. Yeah. And then you might have to say RVM use two point one point one. Yeah. Dash default. Sure. Okay. It says there's no checksum for. It. Something. Huh. So complaining about the Ruby? Uh, it says there's no checksum for uh, Ruby 2.1.1 tar dot uh, bz2. <sighs> yeah, that. There's, there has been an error fetching the Ruby interpreter and haunting the installation. Okay, so all right, so she has to do RVM get stable and uh, uh, because she she needs a, a new new version of RVM basically. Okay. Do RVM get stable? And yeah. You have to update RVM itself. If you see that on my screen now, on, just go RVM get stable. And that should fix it for you. Uh. At first, RVM gets stable, and then uh, RVM uh, install Ruby uh, dash okay. two. Okay. And while you do that, uh, perhaps we could because this could potentially take some time. Uh, okay. Uh, we can take somebody else, and then we can return to you, and you can report back uh, your progress. Okay. Okay. All right. So, who wants to go next? All right, I can go next. Um, my name is Scott Aloisio. Um, I'm also working on the uh, website one project. 
Uh, I'm in mostly the same boat as everyone else. I requested access to Pivotal Tracker, and I got placed in there, and I checked out some tasks. Um, me and Ben here are going to take on one of the, like, it seemed like a semi-simple task just to start off with. Um, hopefully we'll form get that. Formhelper.rb. Yeah, yeah, formhelper.rb. Um, right. Hopefully we'll get that pounded up pretty soon. Wonderful, wonderful. And you, I assume that you guys will be pair programming together. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Remember to work with the girls. Don't sit boys and boys and girls and girls. That's not a way to do it, guys. Mm. I don't mean to <laughs> Never get to kiss the girls if you work with guys. <laughs> Very twice. <laughs> yes. Anyway, thank you for that uh, report. Uh, I try to be a little more serious, perhaps. Um, who's who's next? So I'll go now. Uh, right. I'm Ben Malecki. I'm working with Scott, who just went. Uh, so far, I've request, requested um, access to Pivotal Tracker, and I got that today. So the next thing I have to do is um, go to the GitHub and clone a repository and go through all of that, um, then start doing the uh, form helper starter B. So. Cool. Wonderful. All right. Uh, just a quick note about uh, the, the forking and cloning. Uh, the first step for you guys is log in to GitHub, go to Agile Ventures slash website one, and fork that repository. Then you go to your machine and clone it down to you, to your machine, right? So you have to fork it on GitHub first and clone it down to your machine uh, after that, because then you get automatically set up with an origin remote uh, to your repository rather than to to uh, to the Agile Venture repository, where you you won't be able to do push. To, to that repo anyway, because you don't have access to it. You can clone it from there, but it's a mistake. You know, it's you should fork it first and clone it later. Understood? I don't know if you're nodding or anything, but I guess you understand what I'm saying. Okay, who wants to go next? All right. Uh, um, I guess I'll go next. Okay, uh, sure. Um, my name is Kyle Goodwill, and I'm on the like share team, uh, we're doing a project uh, locally here at Binghamton University um, that involves uh, a bike sharing program on campus. Mm -hmm. um, and I am the project manager, so what I've been working on is getting a lot of the design documentation set up and like working with the client to figure out what exactly they want from us. Mm -hmm. um, and I've assembled my team, who I think they're all going to speak next. And uh, we're currently working on getting our uh, our uh, pivotal tracker set up and assigning tasks to people. Cool. So, uh, and you're doing this in a, in agile way and with with Scrum and, and the whole whole package. Yep, that is correct. Cool. And what's the who's the client? Um, the client is the bike share program here at Binghamton University. Okay. And what they do is they have a, a system set up right now to uh, lend bikes to students for free mm -hmm. on campus. And we have been contracted to automate their system because right now they do it using pen and paper, and it's kind of very inefficient. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, uh, Automate so, their so you have to you have to keep track of all the bikes and all, all the users of of the bikes and uh, when and when they borrow uh, lend the bike and when they're supposed to return it and stuff like that. Yep, that is correct. Cool, wonderful. And have you managed to create a backlog yet, or how, how far gone are you in in, in terms of preparation? Uh, yeah, we have a pivotal tracker set up, um, and we went to the client and had them make uh, user stories for us, like based on what they wanted. And I just put those in a Pivotal Tracker yesterday. Cool. And then right after this Scrum, my team is going to have a Scrum, and we're going to try and determine who gets what tasks. Oh, wonderful. Sounds great. How, and how big of a team did you manage to get together? There are seven of us. Oh, cool. Cool. Good. All right. Great to see somebody. You're taking my job away from me. <laughs> oh, that's that's wonderful. Uh, good luck with everything. And if there's anything uh, you you need, uh, apart from you know Rose being a, a great a great resource, if you want to reach out and ask for some assistance, some help, 
or pointers, uh, don't hesitate to uh, to reach out to me. Uh, I can I can always provide some some inputs if you if you need any. But good luck anyway. Wonderful. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I guess somebody from your team could go next. Sure. Yeah. Um, yes. Hi. I'm Sherry Steinberger. I'm also on the bike share team. Um, so we were meeting about discussing who's going to do what tasks on the team. Um, I'm probably going to end up doing most of the backend stuff. I've been working on trying to get my SQL set up, the environment, and um, the only roadblock was we were trying to figure out which platform to use and what system we're going to use it because I was setting it up on my computer and I realized I don't know which systems everyone else is going to be using. So we just uh, we're going to discuss that at, at our meeting later. Just make sure we're all on the same page. Um, so can I ask a question? Are you guys going to you're going to break it down by layer? You're not going to be full stack everyone full stack and drive well, through we the whole layer on the feature? Yeah, we were thinking of doing that, but we thought it would make more sense to have some people working in the back end, some people working in the front end, and then we have a team lead. They'll make sure it all comes together. Mm -hmm. Because some of us have more experience with databases, others have more experience with working, you know, front end interface. Um, we're obviously all going to be involved with all parts of it, but we'll just have some people more focused in certain areas. All right. Cool. Um, yeah, and that was that was pretty much it. <laughs> Rose is saying not to shadow away, share the knowledge, and uh, but I guess that's, as you said, Jerry, if you're if you're all involved. Uh, in all aspects, but somebody takes the lead on certain certain uh, tasks. I think that's a good good approach. <clears throat> Is this going to be a Rails project? Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Okay. And are, have you considered where, uh, at what platform as a service you're going to use? Is, are you? I guess you guys are used to Heroku. If you have deployed to Heroku before. Yes, that's not, I mean, we're somewhat familiar with it, and it is what we're planning to use, so we're going to familiarize ourselves more with that. Okay. Remember to use Postgres uh, or Remus if you, or Mongo. Uh, if, but you can't deploy uh, SQL like uh, applications to Heroku. Right, Michael? You can't because they have a virtual file system that will be deleted at random times. So your whole database would just go out with that, I think. Yeah. So you can use uh, SQLite for, for uh, development, but uh, for production can, you need to use Postgres. You can do it in development, but I would say you probably shouldn't if you're doing a serious project because there's going to be incompatibilities yeah. between SQLite and Postgres. Hmm. All right. Who's, who's next? Who want to go next? Hi. Hi. I'm Kelsey. Um, I'm also on the bike share team. Uh, we've met once. Well, we've met twice. I was at one of the meetings. We talked about dividing up our team into like subgroups of who's going to work on some of the front end stuff, who's going to work on some of like the controller stuff, and who's going to do more of the back end stuff. So I'm going to be working on um, some of the front end stuff with Kyle, who was just speaking. Um, I need to do some research on Twitter Bootstrap, because that's what we're going to be using. Um, I don't have any roadblocks so far, and I just need to get some research done so we can start coding. Mm -hmm. Cool. Wonderful. And uh, how was uh, so? So you you were at a client meeting, you said recently. Um, no, I wasn't at the client meeting. We had like a team meeting. Oh. Um, Kyle's been going to the client meetings. He's the other person that's going to be working on the front end stuff with me. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Uh, and uh, how how do you feel about uh, being a part of this project? Are you excited or? Yeah, I'm excited about it. I think it'll be cool because it's a completely student-run project that we created from our class. So I think it'll be cool to start it and see it through to being finished product. All right. Well, I wish you all the, all the best. Good luck, and thank you for the report. OK, thank you. Thank you.
Hello. Hi. Um, my name is Joanna Wallace. I'm also on the bike share team. Hello, how are you doing? Is this you doing? No, it's not. It's you I'm hearing you perfectly, actually. So. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, my name is Joanna Wallace. I'm also on the bike share team. And I'm going to be working in kind of the middle ground with the controllers kind of interfacing between um, the front end and back end stuff and um, just kind of figuring out what our tasks are going to be and then um, we're meeting again tonight obviously to kind of delegate that and figure out more what our roles are going to be and no roadblocks so pretty much the same as what everyone said so far. <laughs> All right, okay. Thank you very much for your report. Yeah, sure. Thank you. And we have another member of the bike team. Bike share, bike share, sorry, yes. Hi, uh, I'm Lynn. Um, I'm also in the bike share team. Uh, I have the same update as all the of my friends who went before me. Um, we met on Monday and talked about who's going to do what on this uh, project. Tonight we're going to um, talk more, I guess, um, roadblock would be our pivotal tracker, which now is um, like very all the, every single test like very broad. We want to make them all the tests more like technical and and, and um, th that more specific. Cool, cool. I have a question for Rose actually. Now when I come to think of it, is there is there a, could 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 these guys on the bike share project benefit in any way by pulling this uh, this project into agile ventures? Uh, for, you know, in a well, way. Well, absolutely. Uh, Sam was uh, instructing them as how to do that. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know if they've posted everything yet, or they're in the. St oh, Kyle, what's the story with that? We're working on it. Oh, you're working on it. Okay. Yeah, they plan on pulling it in. Okay. Because potentially, you know, uh, during the 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 development process, if you face face any troubles, if this uh, if this is a, a agile ventures project, you can get some people from from the community in and and work with your pair program with you and help you out with uh, certain issues, and I think that could potentially be beneficial, unless you guys want to do everything on your own. But uh, I think actually, the the way the class is set up, everything is supposed to be an agile ventures project. All right, cool, great. Uh, that makes me really happy. Thank you very much for your report. Thank you. All right. Uh, next person. Thank you. Hello. Um, hello. hello. My name is uh, Veronica, and I'm also a part of the Bike Share project. Uh, so far, um, it's the same as everybody else has been saying. Uh, we met on Monday and Friday to talk about what we had to do. Um, with the uh, program, and I hear you, no problem. <laughs> and um, I'm going to be working on uh, the database uh, side of it with Sherry, and okay. um, so far we just need to set everything up. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. So have you have any previous uh, experience from working with with Postgres and, and, and databases? Um, not really, but I plan on learning a lot. All right. Remember, Stack Overflow is your best friend. <laughs> I'll remember. Okay. Thank you for your report. So, uh, who's coming next? Uh, here we have a person. Hello. Um, my name is David Morris, and uh, I'm the last person as of now working on the bike share project. Okay. I believe I've been set as the technical uh, technical, technical manager, team lead, yes. technical team lead. Okay, that's what, what it is. Okay. I'm going to be uh, putting together the uh, the like group system, the development environment that we're all going to be working on, um, distributing it through VMware, I believe. Mm -hmm. And after that, trying to work on with Kyle, bringing everything together that everybody else is working on. All right. Cool. What do you think? Uh, 
in terms of the biggest challenges of this project uh, at this stage, what do, what, do you, what do you think will be the hardest part? Um, for me personally, it's probably going to be learning or bringing everything together from the front end, the database stuff, and uh, everything in between. Mm -hmm. But um, the biggest hurdle is probably just going to be working on such a, a big project, uh, project since I doubt any of us have all that much experience working on something this large before. Okay, cool, fair enough. Uh, just another tip, remember uh, one issue that I always find uh, uh, hard and, and struggling, I've been struggling with is the assets pipeline. Whatever, is, if, this is for the front end people, uh, but also for you since, since you're going to be technical lead on this. Uh, whatever works fine on your local machine doesn't necessarily work on, on, on Heroku or when you deploy your, your code to production because CSS and JavaScript are, are, are treated differently. Um, and if you haven't done your homework, you might, might end up in, in, in a little bit of a pitfall. But there are, of course, ways to fix that, but you need to be, be wary about this. I've heard many horror stories about people trying to make things compatible with like Internet Explorer six and four and eight. Hmm. Oh, forget about the Internet Explorer. Just that's, uh, don't even address that issue, uh, because I mean, if you really, if you, if you look at the statistics, uh, there are so few people that actually climbs, you know, use that that shitty piece of software still. So. I would just I would just forget about that. Uh, focus on every other browser, but not anything that has Microsoft uh, tag on it. Okay, that's good. I hope I'm not uh, uh, making any sponsors upset here, or you know, but uh, Microsoft sucks basically. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, supporting my French, of course. But yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for your report, uh, and I wish you good luck. And if there's anything, remember you can always reach out to us. Uh, uh, using the Slack channel, and if I can help you out in any way, I'm there for you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and we have yet another person uh, from the website one team that hasn't uh, um, shared their story yet, right? Who's the uh, person with the cartoon? Hi, Hi I'm, I'm also working on the website one. And since last time, I asked for permission to access the pivot chapter and find Anne as my partner. We do the pair programming. Mm. And now we have mm, we are trying to set up the environments. And I met, we made some trouble, and she told you. Yes, and what she managed to, to, to get that fixed. And you froze. Uh, okay. Michael, are you hearing her now? I'm not hearing her. No. So I guess you're going to have to switch machines or, or just turn off your video, perhaps. Okay, but I still don't hear you. Okay, uh, perhaps we won't be able to finish that that report, unfortunately, because there seems to be some technical issues with with our machine. Uh, is that okay, Ross? Or you have to unmute yourself. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Yeah, um, I, I, I think uh, they're having some sort of problem, so I think we'll have to forego that. Okay. Uh, All right. So, but I mean, I think we, she's working with Anne, so. Uh, you know, yeah, we they, pretty much covered that. I hope, hopefully, that 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 the issue with RVM is fixed for them. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. 
this pretty much covers everybody, I guess. Uh, and the only person left is me, uh, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yes. Well, uh, first of all, thank you everybody for sharing, you know, participating in this scrum. Um, oh gosh. Kind of, kind of could be potentially a little bit intimidating to to meet new people and just uh, talk with everybody like um, like we did uh, right now, but. My name is Thomas. I'm the co-founder of, of Agile Ventures. Uh, together with uh, Sam and Michael and a lot of people, we've, we've been working on open source projects for, for over a uh, year. Uh, uh, some of us longer than uh, <coughs> I'm just going to mute some people. Uh, anyway, uh, what I've been doing, I, last night I had a, a, a dev team meeting uh, with, with my developer team. I'm the project leader of uh, this project code name website one uh, which is the, the application behind the stuff you see on, on screen right now the, the the main site for for agile ventures and I also lead a few other minor uh, smaller projects uh, uh, one that is called named Codelia this is an edu educational project uh, and another one about the uh, aut automated generation of, of course certificates uh, for, for when we use edX.org uh, as a as a course platform for for uh, a course that we host called AV102 Managing Distributed Teams, uh, we build a small Sinatra application where we can pull in a, we parse a CSV file and and automatically deploy uh, course certificates over email and store them in a database. Uh, it's a pretty fun little application. But anyway, uh, my main task here in, in Agile Ventures is to to lead this this uh, project uh, called Website One. And the other thing I do is to try to develop the community in itself. And what I've been spending most of my day today is to to set up a, a structure for uh, uh, the Karma system. Uh, in in uh, in this community, basically, what we want to do, we want to reward certain points for for uh, uh, we want to reward points for certain activities that our users do uh, in within our community. For instance, you know, make commits to projects, attend scrums, uh, uh, host pair programming sessions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we want to to build a, a kind of a membership level system. Where you, as a new member, come in as a junior member, and you end up as a superstar ninja member. We haven't decided on this yet, but uh, this is what I'm working on right now. Uh, and apart from that, I'm I'm uh, doing a lot of code review and uh, and basically make sure that that uh, this ship is sailing in the right direction. Um, so that's me. Um, and in terms of pair programming, uh, there will be none tonight. Uh, because it's way too late, but I am available tomorrow. Uh, if any any of you are not asleep, or you know, if we can match our time zones, so uh, feel free to to reach out to me, and I'll be uh, helping in any way I can. Uh, that's all from me, I guess. Uh, we have uh, we have dev meetings every what is it Wednesday. Yes. No, Tuesday. Sorry, every Tuesday at uh, at quarter past seven UTC, which in your time is something, but I don't know what it is. Uh, so yeah, if you want to join that meeting, you just go to this uh, events page on AgileVentures.org and you try to locate that that meeting, and uh, or just be on a lookout for for a link in Slack channels. And we would love to see you in in those uh, in those meetings that we you can report back on on your progress. You can meet other developers that are working on website one, and just basically chat about about this this uh, application. And also, if you have an idea for a feature uh, that should be added to to uh, to this to this project, uh, don't hesitate to just open up the pivotal tracker and. Write up a, a feature request and put it in the icebox. And the only thing uh, that I want you to think of is that to every feature request there should be a user story attached. 
in in this uh, you know in the special format that we, we use. So just look on uh, some some older so some already existing uh, feature requests and try to to follow that example. And we love to see any uh, new ideas, good ideas, uh, and there are no such thing as bad ideas actually. So just if you think of something that should be added to website one. Just write up a story, and we discuss it in in uh, in a Scrum or in a, a Dev meeting uh, as soon as possible. Uh, the last thing I would like you to do uh, is uh, I'm just going to show you how to sync your YouTube accounts with uh, uh, with Website One, and that's pretty straightforward. You just edit your own profile, and you click this button to connect to YouTube. But uh, let me disconnect myself. And I'll sync again, and then I'm presented with. Uh, uh, well, I can choose what account I want to sync with, and just do this, and you're okay after that. Then, if you host any any Scrum meetings or or pair programming sessions, and you start them from uh, this AgileVentures.org interface. Uh, they will be uh, available for other members to view on your profile, like mine are. If you see here, there are embedded links to uh, embedded videos on my profile page, and that's a good thing. So we would like you to do that. And I guess that's all from me. Any final words from anybody? No. Uh, pair programming on local support in about an hour, I anticipate. Cool. So if you wanted to join that, Alex. Yeah, I think I think I'll be able to. I'm not sure though. I have a meeting with another executive board for something unrelated to this. Not software. All right. Okay. All right, guys. That should wrap this up. We usually these scrums should be, uh, you know, only fifteen to twenty minutes. Uh, we've been at this for for at least uh, over an hour now, but uh, there was a lot of people uh, and a lot of talk going on tonight. Uh, again, uh, usually much shorter than this. Uh, Agile is not about meetings; it's about programming and delivering stories. Uh, so we 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 always try to to keep this. Up. But. Again, thank you very much for, for joining me tonight, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it wasn't boring, too boring. Uh, and uh, again, if there's anything, uh, just go ahead and reach out to me. Take it easy, guys. See you around. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you so much. No problemos. Live long and prosper. Okay. <laughs> so long. Bye-bye. <laughs>